I think it's a great, uh, I think Donald Trump doing this is exactly what we wanted him to do. And, and your last point that summed it up is exactly spot on. So they put the steel tariffs on. What does the CEO of U.S. Steel do? He opens up a plant, in, in a, I think, in the Madison plant right across the river in St. Louis, 500 new jobs. Prior to that, they had opened up 200 new jobs when, when Trump was elected. So you've already got the steel industry coming back. But the bigger issue about uh, tariffs and manufacturing is when you do start bringing manufacturing mm -hmm. back to the United States, you bring back a lot of ingenuity that we lose. When we lost manufacturing, it wasn't the jobs. The jobs are nothing in comparison. It's the ingenuity. What comes from manufacturing? Look at an Intel, for example, and what's gone on with the Pentium processor that nobody remembers mm -hmm. because there's been so much evolution of that process in computing industry. That's what happens. And when we bring that back, it's, it's good for the economy. But the other thing that I like about what Trump is doing is he's very selective about what he's bringing back. He, he doesn't need to bring back plastic toys. China can make all of those that they want. But steel and aluminum <laughs> and those types of things are things that, quite frankly, the United States depends on for infrastructure. So I think it's a perfect move. Couldn't, couldn't be better done. And not, not the final point, the unions. You know, who's, who's going to be talking about that? Donald Trump's actually okay. bringing back jobs for the union. All right. Well, we'll see. I think yeah. Nuiki might have something to say about Come on, Kennedy. Come and have a go. Everyone's lost their minds. I mean, it's, it's just <laughs> incredible. Here you are. Everyone realizes the, the positive sum effect of tax relief, cutting taxes and allowing the economy to grow. Yeah. Look what happens. You know, you, you talk about the president deregulating, deregulating, lowering taxes. It's some of the, the best possible moves he can make. And people who are champions of that and living in government, they're the ones who are up in arms. It's not just establishment Republicans. It is free market economists who understand what Adam Smith first published, yeah, that we, making money is a positive-sum game. It is not a zero-sum game, and that is the president's proposal. Yeah, but we don't have... I agree, but we don't have free markets right now because these other countries, like China... Elon Musk was saying, you know, he sells cars in China, they put on 25%, but when which they, they come here, it's 2%. Okay, the idea, also, it's not, the it's idea not free. Of, anyway, so I've got to get Namiki... It's a global economy. I mean, that, that's exactly it. We're not, we're not competing with ourselves here. And, but I think, going back to this worker point... If Donald Trump was doing this and helping workers, maybe say the way that Bernie Sanders would have done it, uh, I would agree with you. But the problem is, is that he's 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 doing this and workers are suffering. I mean, you mentioned Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the petri dish for assault on the American workers. Wisconsin is where they have, you know, eliminated a collective bargaining, where unions have been weakened, where unions over the past Thank 10 years God. have been weakened. Exactly. And you know who suffers? The middle class suffers. You have income inequality worse than it's ever been. No. Because okay. of deregulation. Okay. Union leadership Trickle down, Union trickle leadership down suffers. economics Wait. does not work. Okay, We've been by there. the way, Wait, one, when one we use the term trickle down economics, on, that is an empty phrase. You don't know what you're saying, and it means absolutely nothing. And it when you have... Double Okay, then let's Namika talk about trickle-down economics. Let's talk about a big corporation like Apple yeah. uh, relocating and bringing factories here. Uh, what's wrong with that? I mean, you have a company that's profiting from tax cuts who is bringing facilities to the United States. And not protecting its workers. Workers oh, around no, 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 no. who Wait. have jobs are forced to go on government. I mean, you want to talk about the cost of the deficit and, and, and how it's going up? That is what happens when you don't no, protect workers. Capitalism is nonsense. when you have giant corporations in the pockets of politicians Yes. And they're the ones who are making deals with each other. Absolutely. So you have big corporations who are encouraging their workers and helping them to sign and up paying for them, government program. And paying them 30% of what wages, they use. Wages, wages are going up. Look, let me no, just... Let me, some wages wait, are going up. Not all wages. I, I think, I think we need to... Hourly <laughs> wages are absolutely I think we need to up. let Kevin Real close life. it out. Hang on a second. Look, I've done business in China. I understand the complexities of it quite substantially. The fact that we've got these jobs coming back, it's amazing to me these people lament jobs coming back by the droves. By the way, Barack Obama said these are jobs that would never come back. And she says, well, where are the wages? They're 30% less. There are jobs that we no longer had that are coming back by the hundreds of thousands. Uh, that's not true wait, at wait, all. Wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. Really? Really by the hundreds. By the, by the hundred, Apple bringing back thousands of jobs. Amazon bringing thousands of jobs. More jobs coming back into this country than at, than at any time, and certainly during the Obama era. And they lament this. What could possibly be wrong with this? You know, and, and, you know what the
the problem Kennedy, is sorry, forced minimum stop. wage. I mean, that's what is I destroying know. workers. <laughs> the I'm, minimum look, wage. I think we're going to keep you debating. We're not making enough wait, money. Wait, we're not making in America. America. Well, you we're going to stop. I hope you enjoy we it. We will Here's keep your debating your job in the break. Sorry, no longer enter the guys at the top making more money than ever. We're just not going to give you minimum wage because we need our fifth homes in the Cayman Islands. It's a great debate. I appreciate all your passion around it. There's a real fact at the heart of it. Kevin nailed it. Uh, jobs are coming back more than 100 in thousands and wages are